Hi, thanks for joining us for this installment of our review series. Today we'll be looking at a close, taking a closer look at the Sias V8 prototype controller. We are currently raising funds to move this prototype to a production design and start manufacturing the first units. So if you can, please support our campaign on Indiegogo. The link is down in the description. But um, yeah, enough of that. Let's get right into it. The case is an IP67 rated glass fault polypropylene hard case. Um, when, when you look inside, there are several items that will be improved on in the production design. For more information on this, please see our complete list on our website of differences between the prototype design and what we propose to do in the production design. Um, getting back to the construction, uh, the front panel is 3 mole thick aluminum plate. All the connectors are military spec aluminum ROS compliant uh, metal connectors. Um, all the fasteners are stainless steel and the two switches and the power, the power and polarity switch there at the top um, are IP67 ban rated vandal proof switches. Uh, the LCD currently is a 20 character 4 line matrix LCD uh, which is one of the items that will actually be updated on the production design. Getting to the EDM head, it's constructed of machined aluminum and thick walled stainless steel tube. Only non-ferrous metals and high strength polymers are used in the construction of this product. The EDM head was mount, designed to be mounted either from the bottom or on the top or have a side mounting. This is for rigid mounting setups. For more flexible mounting, you can use pins in the guide holes, in the drainage holes and prop it up on a table like we showed in one of our demo videos. You can also insert pins through the drain holes and have it hover over a part, over a cavity. This is less rigid. Depending on the precision required, this can actually still be used. The unit is designed to use a standard EDM consumables and we have designed the custom electrode guide holders specifically to hold electrode guides, um, the standard range available from whole pop EDM supplies to fit on our unit. The advantage with the electrode guide holders are you can easily replace the electrode guides without a tool. So with the unit we supply four electrode guides electrode guide holders and four electrode guides but these ones that we supply is aluminum guides. Uh, they're fine for general use uh, but for long-term and precise work I do recommend getting the either silica nitride or ceramic electro electrode guides from whole pop EDM supplies. Uh, the link to their website is down in the description. Okay that's enough of the unit. Let's switch it on and see some of its functions. Okay, there we are. Everything plugged in, ready to power on. So let's just power it up. It's powering on, initializing. Okay, all powered up. Everything's initialized and checked. Now it's just asking me to load the electrode. Press load. Insert the electrode. Press enter. Loading the electrode. And done. Okay, let's look at the menu structure. 